So, <clears throat> first thing to know, I live full-time in an RV. It's a 2004 uh, Fleetwood Mallard LTE. And I noticed this afternoon there seemed to be like a streak of water. I cleaned up most of it, but this is what was left. That's, that's tape, but this part here, it was already dry. But I'm like, why is there water? Oh my gosh, the bathroom is on this other side. The shower's right there. Oh no, the bathtub is leaking or something. And, or maybe it's the water dish has got a leak. And then I just fixed a glass of chocolate milk. I drink almond milk because I'm lactose intolerant. And it occurred to me suddenly where all that water came from. Yesterday, this entire thing here was solid ice. Kind of like it's solid ice up there. And it looks like that is actually, yeah, shit. That's melting. So it's not just the refrigerator that has died. It's my freezer. They're dead. Dying. No longer cooling. And I can't get this model anymore. They don't make it. And the parts for it are hard to come by and they're expensive. And the replacement refrigerator that will fit here with shipping costs over $1,400. $1,400. And then I gotta find somebody to install it for me because I'm disabled and it's too heavy. I'm not gonna be able to lift it up in there and hook it up to electric and hook it up to the propane because it is dual powered. You can go either way. So you gotta hook both of them up. And I wouldn't even know how to go about getting this thing down. But where in the hell am I going to get $1,400 from? My credit sucks. I'm not collecting disability because they denied me. I'm appealing. I have no income. And right now I've got 80 something dollars to my name to last me through the end of the month. And I can, I might be able to get a little dorm refrigerator, like the tiny, tiny ones. But in the meantime, I just got groceries. I just got $80 worth of groceries that are not going to fit in a dorm refrigerator. What the hell? What am I going to do? God, I hate this. I hate this so much. <gasps> Nobody ever donates to GoFundMe for this kind of thing. They just do stupid stuff.